going to speak to you a little bit about the uh, talk box. You know, what is it? How it works? I get lots of questions, people asking me, what are you doing? Why does it, how does it create that sound? What's it used for? So I just want to give you a basic overview of how it works, the best way to get the sound out of it, what your approach should be. You know, so let's start right at the beginning. The version that I use is a Banshee Talkbox 2, which is basically an um, amplified unit. At the moment, all you can see here is just obviously the unit. Inside here, there is a very small speaker. This hole, we put a tube in there, which is then inserted into my mouth. No jokes, please. We then send a synthesizer signal into this, and the tube goes up into my mouth, and then I create the sounds as I shall demonstrate in a very little while. As you can see now, I have the tube, very cool looking black tube, that is then set up. I'm gonna power it up so you can see. Uh, you just fire that in here. So everything is just self-powered. Then my output. I go into my input. The keyboard that I'm using to generate it is um, basically a micro cork. You know, um, old school purists, a lot of the guys, they used to use Mini Moog or DX100, you know, but those keyboards are like 20 years old, you know, so you're not really gonna find one unless you get very lucky on eBay. Now, the basic concept is that you send a tone from your keyboard, Korg, into the talk box, which I had in my hand earlier on. The sound is then sent through the tube here. Because a lot of people think that I'm actually singing when I'm actually not singing, shh, you know. But I'm sending the sound through the tube. I should demonstrate. Yeah, I know it's not a very cool sound at the moment, but that is the sound that's sent through the tube. You then place the talk box into your mouth and you are manipulating the tone of the synthesizer with your vowels. So without using the talk box, if you said A, you mouth the word A or E or I or O or U. The more exaggerated you exaggerate the town, the more clearer the diction sounds. So if I use basic vowels, I'll give you a demonstration. Get your sound. I, O, U. Or if I count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I know I sound really like, you know, we're back at music lessons, but I'm just giving you a real basic demonstration on how it works. Two, obviously, because you're using a synthesizer, you're using the actual synthesizer to help generate the sound and the vibrato, etc. So I have the tone. But then I have modulation on my second wheel. Pitch bend, which helps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That kind of vibe. Now my approach is really, you know, rather than playing it like a synthesizer, you know, playing it like a keyboard player will play like lead solos, etc. Is sometimes I try to mimic what a lead vocalist will do. You know, try and take as many of their vocal melodies or their vocal phrasings and mimic that, which gives the talk box its own unique sound. You know, real simple thing, I don't know, um, R&B, like a... Baby, 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 yeah. That kind of thing that makes me sound like a seagull, yeah. That kind of thing, really. So it's a combination of, if you're gonna get into this whole thing, it's a combination of keyboard technique, combined with vocal, creating the sound, and then good timing. So obviously you're gonna to need to have some keyboard skills. 